These 50 wind turbines, just outside the town of Assiniboia, make up the Golden South Wind Project. It's the largest wind farm in Saskatchewan. The turbines stand 110 meters tall, with a single blade spanning 47 meters, each one harnessing the power of wind to generate electricity. And that's our future. You know, you look outside and that's, that's our future. The mayor of Assiniboia says it's given their town a boost. It has brought the general whole project, the excitement to our community um, of, of a future, of a sustainable future. Potential Renewables began working on the project in 2009 and broke ground in 2019. It began operating at the end of March, but was officially opened Tuesday. Two, three. Seven employees will oversee the wind farm, including an underground electrical collection system and transformer substation. Wind power is the most economic form of new power. Uh, as others have mentioned, it's not a panacea, it's not going to do it all by itself, but uh, on a kilowatt hour basis right now it's the most economic. SAS Power says Golden South can generate 200 megawatts of power, enough electricity for 100,000 houses. It will help the province's goal to cut emissions in half by 2030. But Minister Don Morgan says wind power is inconsistent and the province is still banking on nuclear reactors and natural gas. Everybody wants to move to renewal, renewables, which, which is great, but we're not reliable base load is, is still necessary for the times when there's no wind or no sunlight. So we need to look at continuing with uh, natural gas. This wind farm has a lifespan of 25 years. That's when Potentia says the turbines will wear out. SAS Power says what will happen to the turbines at that time is still up in the air. It says it will reconsider its agreement with Potentia and the site could either be repowered or decommissioned. Jennifer Francis, CBC News, near Assiniboia.